Welcome to the e-learning program for the laser level transmitter. After completing this module, you will be able to identify the main features of the laser level transmitters, recognize the options and accessories, know how to put in the main settings, understand the advanced features of the laser level transmitter. The LM80 is applicable to most common applications. The LM80 laser level transmitter comes in different variants to suit specific applications. The heated lens is used to address condensation issues. The LM80 enclosure is optionally available in 316 stainless steel for environments where corrosion is a concern. The Tricklover flange provides a hygienic interface for food, beverage or pharmaceutical applications. The LM80 has a working range of up to 100 meters for level applications and up to 150 meters for positioning applications with a reflector. The LM80 is designed for harsh outdoor environments. It can survive temperatures from minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 65 degrees Celsius, minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to plus 140 degrees Fahrenheit and has an IP66 rated weatherproof enclosure and optional lens heater to avoid condensation issues. Level and distances are reported over a 4 to 20 milliampere current loop and two relays are available for preset levels. For example, the relays can be used as low and high level alarms. The aiming laser allows easy installation the LM80 is certified for use in potentially explosive dust or gas atmospheres thanks to its non-sparking design. The LM80 is not explosion proof. Where extra range or improved dust and fog penetration is needed, the LM200 laser level transmitter can be used. The LM200 has a working range of up to 190 meters for level applications and up to 400 meters for positioning applications with a reflector. The LM200 is designed for harsh outdoor environments. It can survive temperatures of minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 65 degrees Celsius or minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit to plus 140 degrees Fahrenheit and has an IP66 rated weatherproof enclosure and optional lens heater to avoid condensation issues. Level and distances are reported over a 4 to 20 milliampere current loop and two relays are available for preset levels. For example, the relays can be used as low and high level alarms. The aiming laser allows easy installation. The LM200 is certified for use in potentially explosive dust or gas atmospheres thanks to its non-sparking design. The LM200 is not explosion proof. The laser level transmitters have a 4 to 20 milliampere current output. This is the primary communications interface. In addition, there are two mechanical relays that can be set to act like single point switches. This means that a single instrument can offer continuous, non-contact level measurement as well as two non-contact set point switches. The laser level transmitter has an aiming device in the form of a visible laser pointer. This pointer can easily be seen inside silos and other tall vessels. When installing and commissioning the instrument, the aimer helps to line up the instrument so that it measures all the way to the bottom of the vessel. The handheld communication device plugs into the RS-232 port at the top of the laser level transmitter and is used for setting most configurable parameters. The 4 to 20 milliampere interface and switching points of the relays are configured using the LCD2 handheld communication device. The rugged LCD2 handheld communication device is ideal for site work. Like most non-contact level measuring instruments, the laser level transmitter is mounted at the top of a storage vessel aiming downwards towards the surface. Using the laser aimer, 
The position and angle of the laser level transmitter can be adjusted so that the instrument measures all the way to the bottom of the vessel. Settings, such as the distances for the 4 to 20 milliampere output, can be entered into the instrument, either before installation or on site using the LCD2. Using LCD2, settings can be put into the laser level transmitter. The menu structure is self explanatory and easy to navigate. Settings are entered in engineering units. To set the 4 to 20 milliampere output channel, first locate the 4 milliampere entry point on the menu and then type in the distance in meters or in feet at which the output should read 4 milliampere. Similarly, the 20 milliampere setting is entered to represent that distance at which the output should read 20 milliampere. The relays each have two set points, one for when the relay should close and one for when the relay should open. The laser level transmitters are auto ranging instruments that adjust their maximum measuring range based on the application. The auto ranging is controlled by the settings of the 4 to 20 milliampere output or the set point relays. The higher the values in these settings, the longer the range of the instrument will be. The laser level transmitters should always be configured for the actual range of the tank, thus making best use of the dynamic range of the 4 to 20 milliampere output. The instrument settings menu is used to change the units from meters to feet and to select the operating mode. The available operating modes are standard, light dust, heavy dust, positioning and custom. As well as inputting set points and other data, the LCD2 accessory can be used to check the performance of the laser level transmitter. During normal running, the screen shows the distance to the surface as well as the value on the 4 to 20 milliampere channel. By selecting one of the arrow keys, the display changes to show the state of the output relays or the signal strength coming back from the surface. If the maximum range of the laser level transmitter has been set shorter than the required measuring range, then the laser level transmitter will not recognize signals that are beyond this range. As a result, the signal strength reported on the LCD2 screen may show as zero because the surface is out of range. This is easily rectified by inputting a larger number in the 4 to 20 milliampere output or relay settings. The laser level transmitters have a number of advanced features that are not accessible to the LCD2. A PC and the USB R USB to RS232 cable are required to set these features. The maximum range that can be set for the 4 to 20 milliampere settings is determined by the user set point limit in the hardware settings menu. For the LM80, the user set point limit is set at the factory to 30 meters. However, the maximum range the device can handle is 100 meters without a reflector, most level applications, and 150 meters with a reflector. For LM200, the user set point limit is set at the factory to 30 meters. However, the maximum range the device can handle is 190 meters without a reflector, 400 meters with a reflector. The range blank setting in the agent menu is used to set a distance beyond which there will be no signal return. Instead of flagging this condition as an error, the blank range is returned. The update rate of the laser level transmitter is controlled by a setting called pause that can be changed through the serial port. This pause number slows the instrument down to match the control or update requirements of the application. Typical updates can vary from three times per second down to one reading every minute. The fastest update rate possible depends on the range of the instrument. The longer the range, the slower the maximum update rate will be. In some applications, the surface being measured may be in motion because of short-term, rapid changes in level. This may happen in crushers or narrow feed chutes and can cause problems for the control system managing the material feed.
The laser level transmitter has a feature that smooths out these rapid changes in level. It's called the rolling average buffer and can be set through the hidden agent menu buffer setting. The rolling average buffer takes a number of successive readings and averages them to give a smoothed output. Another advanced feature of the laser level transmitter is called rock rejection. This feature can be used to reject obstacles that may pass in front of the instrument, such as falling rocks from a conveyor belt. Unlike the rolling average buffer that simply averages all readings, the rock rejection feature examines each reading independently to determine if it is unrealistically far in front of the current surface. If it is, then the reading is rejected, otherwise it is fed into the rolling average buffer as normal. This is accomplished by using the Keep setting in the Agent menu, which allows keeping X out of Y readings. The number of rejected obstacles can be set to match the conditions in the application. Rock rejection can be used in conjunction with the rolling average buffer to provide sophisticated smoothing solutions to complex measuring environments. In complex environments, the rock rejection and buffering features can be used together to both smooth the response and eliminate rapid transients. An example of such a complex environment would be the surface of a liquid with constant waves and splashing drops. In some applications, the granular solid material is loaded into or unloaded from the storage vessels in batches. These processes can generate considerable amounts of dust. If you recall from the earlier modules, if you cannot see the surface through this dust, then the instrument may fail to measure the true level of the surface. To deal with this batch loading condition, fill rate and empty rate settings found in the agent menu can be applied. These limit the rate of rise of the surface artificially until the dust clears and the instrument can correctly measure to the surface. There are a number of accessories for the laser level transmitter, including LM80 and LM200 dust tubes, P801, P201. The handheld communication device, LCD2. LM80 cooling tubes, P802. Mounting plates. Mounting flanges. High pressure and temperature sight glass, HPSG. LM80 swivel flange, S800. LM80 and LM200 pivot bracket, A800, A200. Reflector plates for long-range position measurements. A battery pack for field testing. Dust tubes are available for all models of laser level transmitter and recommended for most applications. They're attached to the front of the instrument and keep dust from collecting on the optical surfaces. They work by introducing a region of still air that prevents dust particles from traveling upwards against the force of gravity. Dust tubes can be purged by connecting an air hose to the purge port at the base of the laser level transmitter. This creates a downwards air current that further reduces the amount of dust that can reach the lenses. Dust tubes are used with both the LM80 and the LM200. The cooling tubes are used to create heat gradient to protect the LM80 from temperatures that exceed its operating temperature, that's to say, 60 degrees Celsius. Various mounting plates and flanges are available to mount the laser level transmitters to the top of the vessel. When the cooling tubes are used, the mounting plates or flanges are attached at the base of the cooling tubes. The adjustable pivot bracket allows tilting of the LM80 or LM200 for aiming. The swivel flange allows flexible aiming of the LM80 for example, if the roof is not perpendicular to the material. The high-pressure sight glass is needed for environments where the pressure is above one atmosphere, or for high temperatures, or in the presence of corrosive materials. The high-pressure sight glass mounts under the standard mounting plates and flanges. For certain applications, the cooling tubes may be combined 
with the high-pressure sight glass assembly. The cooling tubes are used to create heat gradient to protect the LM80 from temperatures that exceed its operating temperature, that's to say 60 degrees Celsius. The USB-R is used to connect a laptop to the LM80 or the LM200 for advanced configuration settings. What have you learned in this module? How to identify the main features of the laser level transmitter. How to recognize the options and accessories. How to put in the settings. And you should be aware of the advanced features of the laser level transmitter.